Good day everyone! Ito po muli ang inyong guro sa Mafi Grade 6 Teacher Onings na maghahatid sa inyo ng kaalaman sa sarili ninyong tahanan. Sa araw na ito ay gagabayan ko kayo sa inyong aralin na nakasulat sa Weekly Home Learning Plan Week 4 para sa second quarter. Kaya halina't sumabay upang ikaw ay aking magabayan. Ihanda na ang inyong sariling kopya ng Weekly Home Learning Plan ng Grade 6 Health Week 4. Bago tayo magtungo sa ating aralin, kabisaduhin muna natin ang mga bahagi ng ating Weekly Home Learning Plan. Sa itaas na bahagi nito, makikita ang name at section. Sadya ko po itong nilagyan upang direkta nyo nang isulat ang inyong mga kasagutan. Kung kinakailangan namang gumami ng karagdagang sagutang papel, huwag kalimutan sulatan ito ng pangalan at saka i-stapler sa inyong weekly home learning plan upang hindi ito mawala at makarating ng maayos sa inyong mga guro. Nakasulat din dito ang pangalan ng inyong paaralan, pangalan ng subject teacher, date of learning. Sa pagkakataong ito ay pag-aaralan ang weekly home learning plan sa week 4 ng second quarter o mula January 25 to January 29, 2001. Nahahati naman sa four columns ang ating weekly home learning plan. Sa first column nakasaan ang day at time, sa second column ang learning area, third column ang learning competency na align sa most essential learning competencies at maging sa budget of work. Makikita naman sa fourth column ang inyong learning task. Dito mababasa ang discussion ng teacher sa inyong lesson at ang mga pinapagawang task. Sa fifth column naman ang mode of delivery. Dito nakasaad kung paano maibabalik at mabibigyang puna ng inyong mga guro ang inyong mga output. Simulan na natin. For the introduction, this lesson was designed and written with you in mind. The scope of this lesson permits it to be used in many different learning situations. The language used recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of students. The lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course, but the order in which you read them can be changed to correspond textbook you are now using. After going through this lesson, you are expected to describe healthy school and community environments, which is also our learning competency derived from our MELK or the most essential learning competency and from our budget of work. Makikita ninyo ang isang typical na komunidad. Ito ang isang typical na komunidad. Building and maintaining a safe and healthy environment is everyone's responsibility. All members of the community must participate and contribute to the effort. After all, a safe and healthy environment benefits everyone. What makes a community safe and healthy? For most people, a healthy community means the absence of diseases and illness among its members. For others, it means the absence of garbage and community and other pollutants in the streets, in the water, and in the air. Now what does community mean? A community is a group of people living together in a given place and sharing common interests, cultural and traditional practices, and historical heritage. Communities can be categorized according to their beliefs, traditions, and culture. The following are their common categories. First, we have the location-based communities. Some communities are categorized based on their specific location, Sorry. such as people within barangays, townhouses, compounds, and condominium buildings. The following are examples are just examples of location-based communities. We have the Barangay Kapayapaan for those who are living in the barangays. We have the Great Field Townhomes para naman po sa mga nakatira sa mga townhouses. The La Cruz Compound para naman sa mga nakatira doon sa mga compound at sa New Country at ang New Country Condominium 
o iba pang katawagan para naman po doon sa mga nakatira sa condominium. We also have the identity-based communities. Some communities have same cultural and traditional beliefs and practices. Examples are religious groups, ethnic groups, culture and arts performers, as well as persons with disabilities or the PWD. We also have the organizational-based communities. Some communities are formed based on organizational structure and beliefs. These can be family-owned business groups, corporations, and national and international organizations. The following are organizational-based communities. We have the schools, fast food chains, pharmaceutical companies, political parties, and even the global companies. Now let us discuss the psychosocial environment of healthy school and community. Healthy schools should be the place where children develop their potential so pupils should not experience bullying and discrimination. In school, teachers and adults serve as a good example of kindness and respect where pupils are accepted for who they are. They are also supported, guided at their young age. Now what does environment mean? Environment refers to the natural surroundings of one's lives. It is something that you are very familiar with. It makes up everything that affects your life on earth. The water you drink, the air you breathe, the plants and animals around you, and much, much more. Now, there are factors in the environment that affect the human growth and development as well as behavioral, social, and cultural changes. Some of them include the following, agricultural and irrigation methods, climate change, communicable diseases, water and foodborne diseases, and those caused by vectors like insects and rats. We also have natural biological agents like pollen and dust, personal hygiene, air, land, and water pollution, ultraviolet rays from the sun, natural and man-made disasters. Now for your learning task one, describe your community using the graphic organizer below. You may do this on your answer sheet or directly in your weekly home learning plan. Ilalarawan niyo lamang po ang inyong sariling komunidad. For your learning task 2, you're going to complete the pizza graphic organizer below by writing in every slice the different words that describes your school and community environment in any aspects. You may do this on your answer sheets, or directly on your weekly home learning plan. For your learning task 3, copy and answer the following questions on your answer sheet or here in your weekly home learning plan. What is a community? What are the different types of community and its descriptions? Which type of community do you belong? Explain your answer. What is the broader sense of environment? How can these environmental factors affect us in our community? A healthy school is a place where students have many opportunities in the classroom and every aspect of their school experience to foster their healthy physical, mental, and social, and even intellectual development. A healthy school and community environment should possess different physical characteristics. For your learning task 4, write the word good if the statement describes a healthy school environment and bad if not. Accomplish this task on your answer sheet. 1. Gender sensitive 2. Clean with good air and water quality. 3. Always under construction. 4. Safe and free from abuses. 5. With flexible spaces. 
Let's check your answers. Number one, if your answer is good, you are correct. Number two, clean with good air and water quality. If you answer good, you are correct. Three, always under construction. If you answer bad, you are correct. Number four, safe and free from abuses. If you answered good, you are correct. And five, with flexible spaces. If you answer good, you are also correct. Congratulations! Now let's proceed. For your learning task five, describe your school environment using the graphic organizers below. Do this on your answer sheet or directly in your weekly home learning plan. For your learning task six, on your answer sheet, answer the questions in a paragraph form with five to 10 sentences. Why is it important for a student like you to have a healthy school environment? How can you benefit from this or how can this affect you? Enumerate examples and explain your answer. For learning task seven, Put a check on the blank if the statement describes a healthy community and mark it cross if not. Do this in your answer sheet or directly on your weekly home learning plan. A healthy community 1. Promotes social harmony and actively involves everyone. 2. Understands the local health and environmental issues. 3. Have undisciplined people. 4. Participates in identifying local solutions to local problems. 5. Have access to varied experiences and has means of interaction and communication. Learning Task 8. Write true if the given statement describes the psychological environment of healthy school and community and false if not. Do this on your answer sheet or directly in your weekly home learning plan. 1. Healthy school and community enable people to maintain a high quality of life and productivity. 2. A healthy school and community environment are free from abuse and discrimination. 3. A sustainable use of available resources in community and school for all are limited. 4. The environment of healthy school and community do not promote social harmony and inactively involves everyone. 5. The healthy environment of school and community meet everyone's basic needs. Now. Complete the paragraph with the appropriate words inside the box about psychosocial environment of healthy school and community. Blank school should be the place where children develop their potentials, so pupils should not blank, bullying, and discrimination. In school, teachers and adults serve as blank of kindness and respect where pupils are accepted for who they are. They are also supported, guided at their blank age. Now, be ready for the retrieval of outputs which will be submitted by your parents or guardians. I hope you understand. If you have any other questions, feel free to message me. Thank you. Hanggang sa muli. Paalam.